rough for Ganondorf. We got Bloody Knight rocking Ganondorf and Jacker? Yacker? I'm gonna say Jacker, I think. Jacker. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Rocking the Min Min, and this is one of those matches for. Uh oh. Oh, he's already got an opening. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, nah. Oh, again? oh tier list. Oh, ah! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a little too carried away. That would have been crazy. Yeah, Bl Bloody Knight has been. He is clean on those tech chases after the side Bs. Bloody Knight looking like a bloody oh. fright right now. That up smash coming out from Ledge, keeping this pressure up even more on Jacker right now. He's struggling to find an opening. Yeah, oh. this matchup is, in theory, Ganondorf should never be able to get in against Min Min. But Smash is not played in theory. Smash is played in practice. And in practice, Bloody Knight is hitting that back air, getting the first stock, taking the lead despite the dire matchup. I heard some really good advice the other day, and that's if you're not the literal best player in the world that plays perfectly, there's always more to learn about a matchup. Absolutely. So Bloody Knight obviously making it work right now, having the lead in the first stock, looking to find even more. Jab coming out their shield. Okay. Tech chase on okay. the platform. Ganondorf classic. Uh oh. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, right. I like the idea. Trying to get a roll out. Wasn't quite able to find it. Uh, I like the get up attack. That's a good option to mix in. People are not usually ready for that. All right, finding your grab. Jacker has been finding a couple of grabs. This has been, uh, that's sort of how he's been working his way back, but he's really got to get a stock before he takes too much more percent. Ooh, there we go. That there with the Ram Ran. Very good call out from Jacker. Now Bloody Knight keeping that pressure up again and once again. Catching that jump out there with the double forward air. Yeah, this, 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 we're going, we're, we're opting for that mid-noon gameplay once again. They're getting a little too aggressive and now Bloody Knight looking for the punish, but still getting called out under ledge. Yeah, like you said, almost. Ooh. It's so hard for Ganon to get in this matchup. Yeah, he just got grabbed out of his down special. That's wild. Uh, uh, oh, and a miscue off stage from Jacker. Never want to see that, but I mean, Bloody Knight's going to take it. Oh, we definitely, we take those every day of the week. Ooh. There we go, chilling there, avoiding that. Falling to the Nair, unfortunately, and finding that back throw off the Jacker. Looking for the punish, but just barely missing the dragon. Mm -hmm. so coming out again. Ooh, the down air. Yeah. Ganon side B in the down air is disgusting. Jagger overcommitted at ledge once and took all that damage for it. Uh, and right now, trying to find his way back. I like the idea with the runoff down air, but Jagger smartly stalling. There we go, we're hanging on just fine. Big forward air, still not doing nice CI there from Jagger, still hanging on. Ooh, just barely able to slip around the neutral air edge guard. Oh, okay, here you're gone. That's the star. Ooh, and the cherry on top. Mm -hmm. Hitting him with the laser. Oh, but this neutral air is going to take it. Bloody Knight takes game one. Very good stuff with Bloody Knight. Playing that very patiently, waiting mm. for his turn. Finding those jumps exactly when he needed to. And just finding that those punches on Jacker, realizing that Jacker is doing a good job of covering the ground. Like, like not letting mm. Bloody Knight land, per se. But just not really covering those jumps as well. Yeah. It, it felt like at the beginning of that set, Jacker just got caught off guard. I don't think he was expecting Bloody Knight to come in so aggressively and to be able to break his zone with such ease. And it felt like as the game went on, he got a little bit more comfortable with playing around him. Um, and we're going to have to see if he can carry that into game two or if Bloody Knight is just going to make it a swift 2-0. It might be, man. Oh, there we go. I'm, yo, that, that, is, that is some luscious hair. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Th those, are, those are some luscious locks right there. Ooh. Oh, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> All right. We I don't know what he's so upset about. He won game one. <laughs> oh. He's got to handicap himself somehow. He's, he's too powerful. <laughs> he's flexing. He's flexing hard on I can us win right without now. seeing. In Ganon Minmin. Jacker just kind of like insane the that you good, bro. You good? You need, you need a second? Forget a button check. We need a hair check. <laughs> can we get a hairdresser on the stage real quick? Right. <laughs> Yo, does anybody have a bobby pin? <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you gotta just collect yourself, especially in these heavy matchups. Just not let those characters catch you off guard, not let them scare you. Uh, oh. Well, this is not what it I was sure expecting. Is. But slashy? <laughs> is that you? Using the slashy skin, I mean, is when, I, when, me? I, when I play Brawler, yes, it is. When I play That's Brawler hilarious. on stream, I just use his too because it's already on the setup. But yeah, rocking the 1 3 3 2. This is a, uh, you know, Min Min theoretically does a lot better against Ganondorf here, but if you are, you know, if this is what you're feeling, Honestly, sometimes it can be good to go a worse matchup just to throw something completely different at them. Speaking of throwing oh, things, wait! <laughs> the shot put with the edge guard was beautifully placed. So we talked about we were talking about this earlier right, about how matchups are. There's no mm -hmm. theoretically. Theoretically, it's always there's always a human condition. It doesn't matter in the game, <laughs> right? So kind of like some matchups could be better as like a, a person matchup. Mm -hmm. Like oh, maybe I'm feeling this character more than this character right now. Yeah. Maybe Min Min does better on paper, but I'm still chilling with this knee brawler. Yes. And Jack is looking much better going into this game and too. I mean, I have seen Slashy beat Bloody night before with this exact me so 
You know, maybe he was inspired. What if Slashy just changed his tag and he's just trolling all of us right now? Like, yo, game, I mean, game, game I one. go to the same school as him and I know what he looks like and that's not him, but... Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? I am pretty sure. Pretty, oh, see, that maybe wasn't very like confident. A, maybe it's like a Mission Impossible mask situation, you know, where like, mm. he's going to peel it off at the end. Oh! Uh, the DI on that forward throw was... People do not know that kills. Oh, Sometimes yeah. people are just not ready for that to kill. And right now, uh, yeah, Jacker actually working on a three stock right now. Hold up. This brawler is moving very nicely. 50% now coming out of the corner there with the forward air. Really nice. Struggling to find an opening right now. Three mm -hmm. stocks to one. Yeah, and going high. Bloody Knight had to commit low there. Oh, but the shot put. I've noticed that he's doing a lot of these grounded shot puts. What you can do with Brawler is if you double jump. Oh, is he good? Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. If you double jump and you throw the shot put at the peak of your jump, you can actually land. Like, you can actually be actionable before you land on the ground. Yeah. Uh, especially on a wide stage like Town, that can be pretty useful. It takes a little bit to learn, like, the exact timing for it. He, okay, good, good get up attack there. <laughs> On his fine, but the oh. up air into the up touch one, not gonna do it just yet with that dropper. High ceiling of town looking pretty good for Bloody Knight right now, but I mean, he has not even been able to find the first stock. If you're living a 160 against Ganon, you are doing something right. Oh, uh, almost 175, but not able to uh, gather yeah, just fine. Good stuff to Jack, who's still hanging on to the stock. Nair comes out of the corner. Bloody Knight struggling to find any opening right now. Down two stocks and a lot of percentage, so it's gonna be very hard to bring this back, but yeah. nothing's impossible. Especially with Ganondorf, mm -hmm. nothing. Ooh. Yeah, Thrubber is not really gonna kill grounded like that. That move is, that the way that move kills is very positioning dependent. However, the up smash is gonna kill you no matter where you are. Jacker evens up the games. Wait, I've got a theory. Okay. I think I know why Bloody Knight was so, like, upset before game two. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, uh, if I had to guess, Jacker was like, Yo, I'm going me brawler game the next game. Oh yeah, you think so? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so he's like, <sighs> he got like flashbacks mm -hmm. to the um, he got he got flashbacks to the slashy set. True. And honestly, I <laughs> see why. Like obviously, Min Min Ganon not a great match, but me brawler also putting a tear on this Ganondorf right now. You've got the, you just have superior frame data. You have superior movement. You essentially get to decide <laughs> the pace of the match with when you move in and out. Yeah, tough to get around, but, you know, Bloody Nice Soul keeping the smile on his face, good for him. Taking this back to Hollow Bastion. Mm -hmm. I'm liking the idea of the smaller stage pick here to avoid a lot of those shot puts. Let's see if we can get anything started with this Ganon, but already 32% from Jack here. Yep. Oh, we got a oh. tech going. I like the roll away. And, okay, finds the neutral air. The falling up here, but wasn't able to convert. I feel like... I'm seeing a little bit of, like, just unfamiliarity with, like, Brawler's conversions. He doesn't seem super confident with them, but it's enough. I mean, there you could have gotten a down throw thrupper easily. Oh. There you go. Coming back in with the shot put again. Down throw into thrupper. There you go. Yep. And that's yep. actually going to kill. Bloody Knight, I don't think, was 100% ready on the DI. Putting the headphones on. Okay, this guy. This, so you weren't lying. You do not slash you. I can talk to you. you yes, knew that. You I know knew that. You got hit by that before. I go to American University. I know way too much about me, Brawler, because, ev okay. Oh, okay. because okay. everyone at... AU has picked up Brawler at this point because they've just oh. been like, all right, I need to try this. Myself included. Slashy brain rot. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> yeah, it's actually just the worst university meta of all time at this point. <laughs> I don't know, man. My university meta is pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> 76% though. Jack are getting that okay. damage up right now. And you saw he was looking for the grab on the platform. I mean, that is the classic thing that B Brawler is trying to kill you with. Oh, ah, yeah, could have gotten, if he had just done the up air right before landing on the platform, could have converted that. Falling up. I love falling up airs from any character. It's such a cool way to mm -hmm. start a combo. And find even more, just barely avoiding that down air, however. Yep. Catching that jump from ledge with that nair going a little deep. Yeah, you got to be careful because oh. Ganondorf can do that. You got to understand that people get way too greedy against this character. Gets way too greedy against his character. Mm -hmm. He's still Ganondorf. Like, relax. Yeah, and Bloody Knight putting on the headphones seems to have made a difference because right now he's got a lead in this game three. All right, there's dash attack. Uh, he's throwing the shot puts a little bit late, too, which, you know, getting the exact timing for that can be difficult. I like jumping out with it, but just a little bit off the mark once again. Uh-oh. Uh. Once again, we've seen a couple of roll aways from Jackraft and Sybe. We're gonna see if Bloody Knight catches on. Oh, the B reverse, unfortunately. But still with the back air. Ooh, there we okay. go. All right. Rising like back that. air, taking the stock. Oh, but getting his jump caught. Ooh. I, I smelled the back air there. Big damage with that grab okay. there. Oh, he's going for these up tilts. Ah, uh, just going for the forward air. Oh, he's trying to catch a shot out there on the get up now. Bloody Knight looking to find his way back into this. Still sitting in the lead by a little bit. 
Oh, kicking that shot right back in his face. But now, now looking to close the stock here because this Ganondorf, so basically almost any of his normals could take the stock very yeah, soon. This has gotten very tense. At the same time, if he finds himself in a bad situation here. Oh, that's not just yet. Yeah, that's not really going to be killing off the ground, although we saw it did in the first stock, so maybe around this percent. Finally, the roll in. He hadn't done that all game. Oh. Oh, oh living. Oh, wait a minute. Shout out to stop. Yeah. Flip kick. Hanging on. It's got that same property where you can use it to survive like 1% or 2% extra. Well, there we go. Got the Nair out again now. Jacker's got Blade Knight here at the ledge. Oh, up here! Uh, He's still alive! Oh, the buffer! That was no! cheap! No! And just wow. the buffered up air, and he fell and died instead of getting the second thrupper out. And Bloody Knight is going to take a terrifying Game 3 set over Jacker. That was so smart from Bloody Knight, knowing that no matter what move, knowing that Jacker had to throw out that mm -hmm. thrupper there to make it back, so just like, I can trade with this. I'd be able to trade with this. And the up air doing perfectly that, and Jacker not able to make it back. Amazing Gimp with Ganondorf, not on Gimp, yeah. with Ganondorf. Mm -hmm. Not something we see very often, but making it work. It's in it. 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 It's for crazy things. It's different. It's different, different. today. The energy it's in the building right now is like crazy. This? You see this? Different. Mm -hmm.